Chris Flores here, Flow Fitness, Next Generation. And today's Next Generation tip of the week is, well, it is not really a tip, it's more advice. It's the overuse of the foam roller. Now, I know some people are like, Chris, you love the foam roller, why are you bashing it? I'm not bashing the foam roller. What I'm saying is people are abusing this thing, okay? Now, it's the purpose of the foam roller for those you know, beginner trainers who learn about it in a seminar real quick and then they use it for like 25, 30 minutes on the client. It's just to loosen up that connective tissue. So you loosen up that fascia, try and get the muscle to have a proper range of motion. So if someone comes in and they can't dorsiflex properly, okay, because they're, they're stuck in plantar flexion, you use the foam roll to help loosen up that tissue and get some more dorsiflexion in there. Once that's there and established, you're done with the foam roller. It's not to take away every single ailment or every single muscular pain in the world. It's just to loosen up the connective tissue. If you're rolling for, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes of your session, probably it's too long. Unless you're a physical therapist or someone else and you're doing something with injuries or something like that and you know what you're using it for, that's a different story. But for the average trainer who's working with the average person, you don't need to use this for no more than 10 minutes the most, maybe 15 pushing it. Uh, here we use it for about six, seven minutes to start our session off. We'll roll off, we'll roll the key parts, the muscles we're trying to loosen up and get ready to work. We'll loosen those up and then off to doing our mobility drills or dynamic warm-ups or whatever we're doing for that day. So my advice is don't abuse the foam roller. It's not what it's for. I mean, if you guys look at uh, meat grinding and you grind meat, continue to do it over and over and over and over again you know, what the tissue looks like after you're done. So if you're using this for way too long or too much, you're abusing the area. Okay, so our tip this week is don't abuse the foam roller. Use it for what its purpose is for. It's a great, great tool. Like I said, we use it here every day. It's an amazing tool when done and used properly, but when overused, it's just like everything else. Anytime you overuse something or over abuse it, it's not good anymore. All right, too much of something is never a good thing. So my advice is uh, everything in moderation, even moderation. That's Chris Flores, Next Generation, our tip of the week. See you guys next week for more tips from Next Generation. Mi gato se está quejando.